Welcome into the Carolina Kitchen. We are going to be serving up a dish that's absolutely one of my favorite pasta dishes ever. It involves some ravioli with butternut squash in the middle. But I'm going to stop there because I'm turning it over to our guest chef. And this is Graham Hassel. He is with Pasta Fasta. And you guys are on Patton Avenue in Asheville. Mm -hmm. I love squash. I love anything that you make with butternut squash. Mm -hmm. But the sauce is what really makes this dish, isn't oh, it? Yeah. What is the sauce that we're making here? Um, the sauce is a brown butter and sage sauce. Mm. It's got shallots, sage, and butter. And it's pretty simple, but it's very tasty. All right. Well, how do we start? Start with some cubed butter in a saute pan. Oh, listen to that. Already mm -hmm. happy sounds. Make sure it gets spread around and melting. And you were telling me when we were waiting to start this segment that we really want our pan to be super hot. Oh, yeah. Why is it... The hotter the better. The hotter the better? Mm -hmm. What's that going to do? Um, well, the brown butter process will happen a lot faster. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The um, sage leaves that I just threw in will stay a lot greener. Okay. And the shallots that are also in there will caramelize. Gotcha. So, All right. And then we just wait for this whole thing to brown. As soon as oh. it starts to brown a little bit, yeah. that's when you turn the burner off or take your pan off the burner because there's enough residual heat to keep the butter fat browning okay. without burning. Gotcha, because if it key. burns, it's, it's no not like good. that fine line, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. How are we looking here? So this is actually looking really good. You can start to see just a little bit of brown coming mm -hmm. up, and this foam is normal. Oh, it smells so wonderful. Mm -hmm. um, it, what other ingredients are going to go in here, or is this it? Just a little bit of salt and white pepper. White pepper. Mm -hmm. Do you do that for the taste, or mm -hmm. okay? And it's a lot milder, so it's just I a little I love white bit. pepper. Mm -hmm. Oh, you barely, yeah, you just a little pinch in there. Oh, yeah. Okay. And then we just cook the ravioli the way we would cook it, just till mm -hmm. it's al dente. Mm -hmm. Is that, and then? And some boiling water, yeah. Mm, yum. And then toss it in this, and then it's done. And this is almost about done. Look at yep. that. So now we'll just take it off the heat. Let that. And you can see the shallots are a little caramelized right. in there. You're right. They turned into a beautiful brown, yummy, mm -hmm. inviting color. Doesn't that look oh, so yeah. scrumptious? And when you're done, he plates it up, and it looks absolutely fabulous over here. This mm -hmm. is such a great way to enjoy ravioli with a really different, you know, it doesn't always have to be a red sauce or an olive oil sauce. Mm -hmm. Brown butter. Yeah. Fantastic. Want the recipe for this? I know you do. Go to our website, <laughs> WLOS.com, click on the Carolina Kitchen link, and we will get you all set with this recipe. We're calling it butternut squash or brown butter sauce. And um, this is fantastic. Is this something on the menu over at Pasta Fasta? Yes, it really? is. Really? Mm -hmm. Oh, so if I'm not brave and daring enough to try this brown butter sauce on my own, I can come and have you make it for me? Oh, yeah. Sounds like a plan, my friend. <laughs> that looks terrific. And... This butternut squash, but the sauce itself, the brown butter sauce, is what's cooking in the Carolina kitchen.